Besides writing, music is uh, one of my hobbies, but I have a special passion for musical instruments. Today, I want to address the problem of drug abuse in our communities. This is a problem that nobody wants to seriously talk about. The menace of drug abuse um, is ravaging our youths in epidemic proportions. The truth of the matter is that there has been a phenomenal increase in the prevalence of drug abuse amongst our youths. This prevalence happens to be the direct consequence of the terrifying increase in the supply of narcotics and psychotropic substances in our communities. Drugs like cocaine, crack, um, heroin, codeine, amphetamines, methamphetamines, um, inhalants, and um, lysergic acid diethylamide LSD, among others, are all over the place, especially in our higher institutions. Consequently, a large number of our young people have taken to the drug culture unknown to their parents. Addiction to illicit substances it's not only um, impacting very negatively on the mental health, but also the social lives of our young people in the most severe and devastating ways. Many of our youths have you know, um, developed mental health problems due to drug addiction. Others have um, committed suicide due to such um, substance abuse disorders. Many have died in vehicle and other accidents due to drug abuse. Others have dropped out of school because they are unable to focus on their studies. Hundreds of thousands of others have been infected with you know, um, STDs like HIV and hepatitis due to the drug problem. Many are taken to crime and other vices on account of illicit drugs. Many have died as a result of uh, substance abuse. One of the um, saddest sites of the illicit drug phenomenon in our communities presently is the fact that many parents unfortunately are not aware that their children are involved in a drug culture and so they appear helpless when they come to find out that they are involved uh, in this debilitating social scourge. Unfortunately, the agencies of government that are saddled with the responsibility of tackling the problem in most of our countries in Africa appear to be unhelpful. You know, uh, besides being grossly ill-equipped, um, understaffed, poorly uh, trained, uh, underfunded, and in some instances bedeviled by corrupt public officials, such agencies of government are completely incapable of tackling the drug menace, you know, um, effectively in the present circumstances. On that note, I want to especially appeal to parents, the elite public-spirited individuals like politicians, the clergy, traditional rulers, and other significant, significant members of our various communities to stand up against the scourge of drug addiction amongst our youths. Truth be told, if we do not effectively tackle you know, the new wave of you know, the crave for dangerous drugs in our communities amongst our youths, these drugs will destroy them and the future they represent. We cannot have a virile future with you know, this army of young drug addicts in our communities. No new hope, truth be told, no new hope will be added to the bold promise of the next generation and even the present generation under the, this present um, scourging slavery of drug addiction unless we team up in one concerted determination to fight the drug monster. Parents, please stand up and say something. Also, do something against you know this dangerous scourge amongst our youth. Let us collectively say no to the abuse of dangerous drugs in our communities. Thank you very much. God bless you.